Now, as of MicroStation VDI Select Series 1, uh, DWG files created by MicroStation or saved by using Autodesk authored code that is called Real DWG. And because of this, files are accepted as trusted by AutoCAD. So what this means is if you are to create a DWG file in MicroStation, um, you should uh, see this message in AutoCAD that this is a trusted DWG. Now, there are some instances where this does not occur, and, and this might be due to the fact that the file uh, file's origin might have come from a different source uh, when created uh, to a DGN, or maybe it was a DWG that was saved as a DGN uh, in another application and then opened by a microstation. So uh, not always guaranteed, but uh, because of the sharing of the libraries between Bentley and, and Autodesk, uh, you should generally get this message when opening any of our files in Autodesk products. Now, the current bill of MicroStation Connect Edition, update 17.1 or 10.1701.58, supports Real DWG 2023. The current version of Real DWG support can always be confirmed by typing in the word version in the key and entry. You see this on our next slide. I uh, hope you can see it. I tried to blow it up as big as I could. But uh, we have a file that's open, and the file uh, is version 2008 uh, DWG file. But here I typed in version, and you can actually see where the version of uh, Real DWG is 2023. Uh, so the real DWG supports the most current version of DWG format, uh, which is this 2023 version, which means you can open all files from AutoCAD 2023 and going back. Now, the DWG work mode is strongly suggested, especially when we plan to continue to save and work in both our DGNs or DWG files. So we'll talk a little bit more about the DWG uh, work mode here shortly. But when you open up a DWG file, because DWG files are considered to be unitless, uh, you have to have the option to decide what units will be used in a file for measurement, scaling, and for reference file attachments. Now, AutoCAD does have a system variable for units, which is uh, supposed to indicate what units are used uh, for your drawing insertion of elements. So uh, they don't really have like a linear unit measure, uh, so to speak. That's kind of handled more when you output your drawing for uh, plotting in AutoCAD. But for the purpose purposes of inserting like blocks, uh, X refs, they do have an ability, uh, as you see on the screenshot on the left, to set um, both uh, the length type and both the insertion uh, units for these type of objects. Now, MicroStation always has used units in their DGN files. An example, a design file always has units. And when a DWG file is open in V8 uh, going forward uh, up until uh, Connect Edition, uh, it must also have units. So we let the users tell uh, MicroStation what units will need to be used when opening a DWG file, as you see there on the right screenshot. So this applies to also attaching a DGN file. The working units of the master file must be taken into consideration for scaling and the location of the reference file. And uh, we'll see that in a demonstration here shortly. But um, the same thing would apply when attaching a DWG file as a reference. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.